Good morning, I'm Jean. I'm here at O'Leary Fire Lookout in a Coconino National Forest. We're at 8,900 feet almost and keeping an eye on a smoke from a lightning that passed through yesterday. Lookouts are the eyes of the forest and we're here to spot smokes initially uh, and then size them up and guide crews into them and monitor the smoke and where it goes and how hot the fire is. It's true, a lot of people turn in fires with uh, cell phones these days and aircraft, but they don't always know what they're looking at, and uh, experienced lookouts can give you a little idea whether it's a campground or a campfire or a wildfire. Uh, when I spot it, first I look at it for a little bit and make sure it's not something that's uh, going to go away on me and not be a real wildfire. I locate it uh, with a angle from the lookout, an angle and a distance, an azimuth ring on the firefinder in there, and I line it up and I call my dispatcher and Flagstaff and I say I've got a small blue smoke at 120 degrees, uh, six miles. And that alerts the other lookouts to look for this smoke as well, and perhaps we can cross those readings from our different peaks, and then we'll get a good location on it. The information the uh, dispatcher and the crews need to know right away uh, is, a, is a whatever size up I can do at a distance. So if it's small and blue, that's something different than saying it's medium and white and, and, and uh, building rapidly. They're going to send more crews right away. So that's an important part of the job. And a small blue smoke is often just a single tree burning, either a green tree struck by lightning or uh, it might even be a campfire that's been left behind. That's uh, going to signal something different than if I say I've got a medium smoke, that's right away the size of 10 campfires. And if I say that it's got a lot of wind on it, that's going to tell them something different, that they've got to get some different resources to it right away. So Arizona has 50 or 60 fire lookouts that are still active, and you can see on this map how many of them are along the rim, um, because of all the intense density of ponderosa forest we have here. And uh, if you step outside, you can see some of the peaks that they're on. Uh, there's Red Butte that's up by the Grand Canyon. And there's Kendrick Mountain. That's over there between the Kayabab and Coconino. And then Eldon is right above Flagstaff. Um, there's Turkey Butte and East Pocket down there above Oak Creek Canyon. And then down the rim, you've got Hutch Mountain and Buck Mountain and Baker Butte and Moki, and I hear all those voices on the radio. Um, I've met some of them, but some of them, they've only been voices for a dozen years.